Uh, good evening, uh, Mike Pierce, 684 uh, Lock Road. Uh, I noticed on your agenda night you have a, an amendment to the town code, Chapter 611, on the agenda. And 611 was approved unanimously by the Board of Selectmen in 2007 after being proposed by the town manager, Fred Welch. 611.3 requires the undersigned fine balance to be 5% of town responsibilities, about $50 million, in addition to uncollected taxes. Prior to the approval of 611, in 2007, the town had been paying as much as $80,000 a year in interest for tax anticipation notes that the town needed to cover expenses between the June and November tax collection collections because the undersigned tax undersigned fund balance was too low. From 2007 to two, 2014, the undersigned fund balance grew practically every year. This board and the town manager were considering expending $860,000 of the unassigned fund to pay for warrants, <coughs> and the unassigned balance, cash and cash equivalent, was not mentioned during those discussions, nor was Town Code 611, until Mary Louise Woolsey brought it up, and the town manager and the chairman, Rick Griffin, who was one who approved it in 2007, shut her down. At the 20, December 21st meeting with the auditor, when Mary Louise Woolsey submitted three questions, including one asking why the 2014 audit report did not disclose the level of compliance with the minimum fund balance policy codified in Chapter 611 and required by GASB 54, the rest of the board denied her right to ask the questions because it originated from a member of the public. A member of the public. Selectman's being at the t point at the time was, what if the other 15,000 wanted to ask questions? Which is pretty weak. And reducing the unassigned fund balance to increase spending will weaken the town's financial st stability. <laughs> Finally, GASB 54, adopted in 2011, requires the disclosure of the minimum fund balance policies in the annual audit report. A direct quote from 54 is as follows. The GASB board believes that users are similarly interested in information about those minimum fund balance requirements and how they are complied with by the respective governments. Therefore, this statement also requires that governments disclose their minimum fund balance, balance policy. Why was the town policy missing from the audit is the question of the day. Thank you. <laughs> 